Ready? <laughs> Hi, welcome to another adventure. Indy and I are heading off for a little camp tonight and as you can see the weather is perfect. It is fantastic for camping. That is if you love camping in the rain, which we do. Hey pup, we have brought two tarps, haven't we? And we are going to camp underneath one of the tarps and I'm going to try and configure it into a tarp tent. So that's the plan for tonight. Sleeping in the tarp tent, I'm going to use the second tarp as a cover for us to sit under and eat under and hopefully if the wood isn't too wet we're going to light a fire. I've brought some the makings of mulled wine again with me. I loved it so much on my last car camp that I've brought that with me again. So we need to get ourselves into camp. We're about halfway through our walk. The walk up from the car was uh, nice and easy, super lovely, through the bush, um, it was really nice to be under the cover of the bush so didn't have to worry about the rain and then out onto the terrace which last time I came through here was blowing an absolute gale but today it's beautifully still so we've just been enjoying uh, dodging around the beautiful little puddles so now we just need to head down this valley we're gonna go off track because I want to be away from the main track I want to go and find a little spot up in the in the bush near the river it's a spot I've camped at before and the reason I've chosen it is because if you're going to do something new in the outdoors like camping under a tarp the beginning of spring when the weather is forecast to be zero degrees overnight then it's best not to do that in a place that you don't know so it could be a bit cold tonight could be a bit crazy sleeping under the tarp tent but at least I know the place that we're going to be. So let's get ourselves there and go and get set up and I'll catch up with you guys then. You ready? Come on, let's go. Here we are. It took me a little while to find a spot. I was looking all around trying to find something flat. Didn't want to go in the same place that I went last time. Ugh, muddy paws. Muddy paws. <laughs> all right, let's get the tarp tent set up. So I brought my DD Hammocks uh, super light tarp for the tarp tent and then my Stony Creek tarp for going over the top our eating area. So let's start with the tarp tent and once we've got that up we'll know where to put the other one. Just need some pegs. So the main thing you want to consider when you're setting up a tarp tent is that you want the ridge line to be running from the front to the back in the direction that you're going to sleep. So my plan, I can think about what my plan is, hi, she's going to do this every time I talk to you by the way, she's going to come because she thinks I'm talking to her, hey, oh I know what I could do actually, let me give her a treat, would you like a treat? Yes, oh you would like a treat. Okay, hey, we'll be Where are your manners? Down please. I'm gonna give her a treat. Thanks to you guys. These are this, these treats are from you. Get down. Mm. 
lights. I've actually brought her two treats. I'm going to give her the one that lasts longer. She usually isn't too sure about it at first because it doesn't have the same flavour. Oh, what do you think? Does it smell good? It takes a bit to release the flavour. But it's been rubbing up against her second treat, which I'll give her later, which is a uh, king salmon tail. <gasps> What's this? <You> ready? <laughs> okay, hopefully that keeps her entertained. So like I was saying, you want the tent to be running in one direction and you want the ridge line to be running across that way and I'll show you why when I set it up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is to lay your tarp nice and flat. Alright, just to hold the position of the tent, these aren't necessarily going to stay here but I'm just going to peg it down nice and flat. tarp nice and flat what you're going to do is take the corner and bring the corner into where this bit currently is so if you pull the um, tarp like this so you get a nice straight line you can then go along and peg these bits down all right so you peg this one in and then over here peg this one in and I'm going to go around and do that on the other side I can't actually remember what you do with these ones here so let's forget about those for now and we'll figure it out um, this is the point at which you take out the front peg, which was just holding the tarp in place, and get your trekking pole. You want to make sure that you're using a trekking pole that's got a soft end on the top, and I might even put something extra under there. You're going to go into this point here and put your trekking pole in under your tarp. Now I want to get it as high as I can and try and get the wrinkles out, so I'm going to go in underneath and extend the pole as high as I can. All right, hi Indy. Hello. <laughs> You've already gone in there. Yes, typical, typical. <laughs> Hello. A smarter person would have prepared their guy lines earlier, but that's okay. All right. So what you're going to do here is this bit here, you want to peg back. Okay. So you can probably use this peg for this one if your guy lines are adjustable. You're going to peg that back so it kind of creates a door opening and do that on both sides. So what I'm going to do now is take this one and peg it out that way to open the door up. It's taking shape but it's looking a bit saggy and baggy and I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like saggy baggy. So the first way to improve that is actually to get this bit tied back. So you want to put guy lines on both of these and bring them back. So I'll do that now. And what that does is it creates some height in the back of the tarp tent. I'm going to pull this one out a bit. Yeah, it looks better. 
and this one here. This corner is actually surplus to requirements, so you can fold it under if you want to. And voila! There you go, there you have it. One tarp tent. And it's just starting to rain again, so that's perfect timing. Hey, do you think it's pretty fancy, Indy? Do you want to sleep in there? <laughs> I'm going to show you around. So there you go. There's the inside of the tent. Now with a dog sitting outside it. So let's climb inside and have a look. There's quite a lot of room in here. A lot more room at the back than I thought, which is just as well because the rain's going to come off here and there's not going to be a lot of protection at the front. And that's one of the reasons why I've brought the other tarp. Rain's starting to come down again, so I'm going to get the tarp up now. I'm going to do that quick, smart, because you guys have seen me do that a hundred times. So I'll get the tarp up and then catch up with you guys because I think it's time for some mulled wine. happy with that. I'm really happy with that. That looks fantastic. That's going to give me heaps and heaps of cover. I've got this lovely area out here that's flat and then I've got a dip down here where I can set up a little fire. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go and get some firewood and get that all done before I make my mulled wine because um, I don't think using the saw and chopping things is a good idea when you've been drinking wine. And um, Andy looks like she's pretty keen on her dinner. Hey, aren't you? So I'm going to get the firewood done and while I'm doing the mulled wine she can have dinner. Get off! I know, sweetheart, you don't know who I'm talking to. Let's just say I'm talking to you. Should we go and get some firewood? Should we? She's like, that's not dinner. So that's dinner. <laughs> Do you really want your dinner now? Go on. All right, I'm going to give her her dinner. Why not? She's actually got that salmon, um, she's got that salmon tail for later. Okay, why don't you have your dinner while I go and chop some wood? Because I'll be finished my dinner before you've even put the bag back in my pack. That's why. Oh, drooling. Drooling's a good sign. Okay. go and then I had visions of it hitting you. That would not be good. Now that did not sound dry. It sounded a bit rotten. But it's very hard to find dry wood that's not rotten in the New Zealand bush so it's probably going to do.
that looks pretty good. Okay, time for some magic. So as I mentioned earlier on, last time I went camping, I did a car camp, and I decided to try making some mulled wine. Now I didn't make it from scratch, because who has time for that except my amazing friend Helen, who does make some beautiful mulled wine from scratch. But what I've done is I've brought some orange peel with me, some cinnamon stick and some cloves and then this little drink bottle of magic is two parts wine one part mold wine mix it smells beautiful so I'm gonna heat that up sound too interested otherwise she thinks it's okay. Pup? No chasing. It's very fun isn't it? There's really not that much harm in her chasing her hair. But all the same I don't want her learning that it's okay to chase anything. We've got two cats at home and she's not allowed to chase them. I don't want to take her out on a walk through farmland and have her chase sheep which she's a sheep dog by breeding and she would love to chase them. It happened once and only once because after that 
I just started training her not to chase things. That was pretty darn exciting though, wasn't it? Was it a big hair? Okay, I'm just going to heat that up slowly. And this is the little Fire Maple Star X1, which is a great cooker. I'm really enjoying it. If I ever mention products, have a look in the um, description underneath the video if you're interested in them. I know that that is now the way that I review things. If I'm going to buy something, I usually go into the videos of other YouTubers who I trust and respect and who've tried them out and um, purchase things that they've used. I do like this little cooker. does a good job. It's actually one of the ways that you can support the channel. So if you guys are ever thinking, oh, you know, what can I do to support Adventure OT? Um, if you want to buy a product, like when I bought that Flextail pump, I actually uh, looked for another person's um, code, which gave me a discount, but also meant that some of the proceeds of that purchase went to that YouTube creator. And that's one of the ways that you can support creators. So yeah, thank you if you go and buy something from Fire Maple because I get a little bit of a cut and you get a discount. I think it's about 10% or 15%. So check out the link below. I don't actually want that to boil. This is often one of the criticisms of these kind of cookers. When I say these kind, I mean, you know, like a, I'm trying to think, what's the original one called? Jet boil. This kind of system, it's very hard to get things to simmer. But actually, I don't know if you can see in there. Hopefully you can. It's only just gently simmering. Are you poised and ready to go, Indy? Are you? Are you poised and ready to go when you see another hair? <laughs> hey, right back. What are you doing? Come and lie down. Oh, oh that's lovely. Should I put this in there? You should put it over here for way. And just as I was leaving home, I spotted a nearly empty bag of chips. And I thought, why not? The only thing is they're completely crushed. that. <laughs> oh, completely crushed. Cheers you guys.
That is amazing. So good. I think the best thing about this mulled wine is just the opportunity to have something nice and warm. She's so tempted. The hunter looks for her prey. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Back to camp. There it is there. I brought a massive fire lighter with me because I didn't bring any um, newspaper. And I do not profess to be some sort of bushcraft um, wizard. I want a fire, so I've brought some kindling from home. I always do. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know that. I don't mess around where that's concerned. Now the only thing is, this is all that I have brought, so I'm really reliant on it catching. Um, this kindling here is wet. It's dry inside, but wet on the outside. And I don't think there's anything else that's not wet. So let's just let's just give it a go. Let's see how how we go. I've also got one dry piece of timber from home. You know, Indy's still watching, just in case. Indy's blanket on her. This is brand new. This is brand new. It's a 650 loft down blanket. 
going to give it a bit of a, a poof out. There you go. How's that? A bit nice, is it? I can't see anything because of the slope. Do you mind? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, I'm just going to turn that up. Now hopefully the smoke doesn't drive me nuts. Oh. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Now I understand why people build those like reflector things. I thought it was to reflect the heat back, which it may still be, but I reckon it's also so that the wind doesn't blow the smoke in your face. You guys can leave a comment and let me know. I, I see it on um, other people's videos, like um, I'm trying to think who's done it, but I'll probably get it wrong but I've certainly seen I think people in the States I always think it's the States because there seems to be plenty of wood <laughs> plenty of dry straight wood and they just cut down these small um, you know small trees and build this shield behind the fire so yeah if you know why they do it I'm assuming it's to reflect heat back towards you, but I'm also wondering, is it because that stops the breeze blowing from that direction and blowing smoke into your face? You can let me know. So this is uh, spinach and ravi, no, spinach and ricotta tortellini. new things on this trip and these are all things that I've bought myself the flex tail gear pump I bought and Indy's down blanket she looks very snuggly don't you think <laughs> hello so I've been on the lookout for a down dog sleeping bag or a down blanket now this one is um, advertised as a blanket so it's going to be good for me as well and it's got like poppers around the outside so you can actually like shut it round you but I think that's going to be good for Indy so the flex tail pump and the blanket are new and I got the most amazing camera bag You guys don't normally get to see all the camera gear, it's like behind the scenes, isn't it? But this bag looks really simple. It's from um, Low Pro. Let me see. Yeah, Low Pro. But why I like it is it can clip around the straps of my backpack. Or today I just clipped it down there. It's out of the way. It's out of the way. And yet, when you open it up, I can clip it there, I can open it up, I can pull my camera out, which is over there, but instead I'll pull out my lens. I can pull my camera out, put it back, it's fantastic. So this is amazing, it also opens fully this way. And it's got partitions in there that fits my lenses, my camera, my microphones, it's fantastic. And space for a notebook and pen on the outside as well. 
and then on this side here I can stick my uh, iPhone on its little tripod and also the umbrella for the camera so I'm really really happy with it now why I'm telling you guys about these new things is because it's thanks to you that I've bought them so I promised you guys that anything that you guys donated to me to support the channel it would go directly to purchasing things for the channel as well as treats for Indy and I to enjoy and I've been saving up some of those lovely donations that you guys have made so that I could afford to buy a few really cool things I'm actually I'm gonna think of you guys I'm gonna think of you guys and be grateful for you every time I use these things because they're going to bring me so much joy. All right, this is what I've got for Indy to enjoy while I have dinner. This is a king salmon tail. So I guess the rest of the salmon probably went to human mouths. Can you see that? Ooh, it smells beautiful. Um, so I thought she might enjoy that. Would you like this? Would you? Let's put it over here. Okay, that's yours. Yes. Eddie loves salmon, so um, I usually give her my salmon skin whenever I have fresh salmon. It's raining heavily now. Yoo! -hoo! I can't believe it. Today is the. 7th of October I posted my very first video in fact it was three videos I edited a few and then like um denied and thought oh I don't know if I can do this it's going to be so embarrassing what if nobody likes them I posted my first videos on the 4th of October last year so this is my one year anniversary of Adventure OT and in that time I've just been blown away. I'm getting close to 5,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. So when I get to 5,000, I have to do something special to say thank you to you guys. So watch this space. That'll be coming up soon. Yummy. Delicious. Mm. I'm looking at these logs and I'm laughing to myself. I love the comments that I get. I love the comments that you guys leave me. And I'm smiling because they're just so lovely. I get such lovely comments. And every now and then I just get an unusual one. Just, just unusual. So on my camp, that was two camps ago when I went up to the top of a mountain and camped out in the snow. So there was a bit of a snowstorm that came through overnight and I woke up to this amazing whiteout. And somebody said, everything looks fake. Um, none of it looks real, including those perfectly cut logs that you're putting on the fire. Who cut those for you? 
So what they were insinuating was that you must have somebody else with you who's capable of cutting logs that perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> because it's me. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Uh... So cute and snuggly. I need to go and collect some water so I can wash my pot out. I need to get some water for a hot drink. But I don't want her to follow me. She's so dry and comfortable. But she has FOMO, so whenever I go somewhere, she has to come with me. So I'm going to try and sneak away. me the whole time. <laughs> I was walking back and the light from my head torch was shining on these two little eyes watching me. raining which is so super snuggly but there is not a lot of usable room in here and the mat the, mat, the ground sheet that I brought with me it's tiny it doesn't cover the full length of my bed is it Indy? no it doesn't cover the full length of my bed sorry it's really hard for you to see anything in here because I haven't got much distance that I can move back the other thing is Condensation already. That is how I feel about that. In the morning, it is going to be so, so wet on the inside of the tarp because Indy and I are both going to be breathing. <laughs> Hopefully. And the ground is damp and it's not even covered, so all that damp from around there is rising and from our breath. So wish me luck you guys. We're pretty cozy. It sounds awesome. But we're gonna get very damp in the morning.
time. So as you can probably tell, it's a misty old morning. Every now and then it clears and you can see the snow up on the hills behind us. So I think that little bit of snow that was forecast last night, it didn't get us. Um, it was There was some pretty heavy rain just as I was going off to sleep, but um, I think it must have fallen as snow a little bit higher up because there's some fresh snow up there. I'll show you when it clears again, but it's, it's all clagged in at the moment. Indy's had breakfast and I've got my coffee so all is good. I'm just boiling up some water for the porridge. So consensus on the tarp tent. As I mentioned last night, you should try everything once, <laughs> not necessarily twice. Um, tarp tent was amazing for being super light and really quite easy to put up. But there's not a lot of room inside really when you've got a dog and yourself. So if it's you and another person, uh, it would be easier if it, was, if it was two people actually because I think you kind of understand how you have to be when you're in a small space but she just didn't get it she just didn't get it and she just wanted to be in the wrong place at the wrong time it was quite tricky um, and she kept standing up and sort of bumping the tarp and there was condensation on it so it would all drip down but once she was asleep she was fine yeah you were no no thing once you were asleep you were fine kind of like no She's just going to be a giant nag until we leave. So I would definitely use the tarp tent again if I was going up to the top of a mountain and I wanted to save weight. And I think uh, fine weather. Yeah, fine weather. Hopefully where the ground is not wet. Having said that, even though I was really worried about the condensation, it actually wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I had started out the night by closing these sides in to make more of a contained tent because I was a bit concerned about possums. <laughs> I'm always worried about possums. But in the end I decided I would rather have possums visiting me. have to add all of this porridge because I've put so much liquid in here. Oh well. Yeah, I would rather have possums visiting me in the night than no ventilation. So the front of the tent was open like that and I think that ventilated it well enough that the condensation was not that bad. I was expecting to have woken up in the morning with my sleeping bag completely saturated from it dripping on me but all it did was drip down the sides of the tarp, so that was fine. Okay, so last night I made a discovery. It is such an embarrassing discovery. You guys, I've just discovered that I'm a complete and utter turkey. Honestly, seriously, have you watched how I've been lighting this fire maple stove? Actually, I lie. It's the beginning of October. Well, look at what I just discovered. I was just looking at this and thinking, I mean, I'm so stupid, honestly. I was looking at this and thinking, why do they have this? What's the point of it? What do you think the point of it is? Oh my goodness. Watch this. Like that. Who would have thought? 
I read a review and it must have been an old one or it must have been a different model of cooker and I was sure it said that one of the downsides with the cooker was that it didn't have self-ignition. So I had it in my head that this one I would need to light it every time. Anyway, forget it. Vicky over here did not know <laughs> that it's got its own ignition. Wow, yum. This looks amazing. So I have uh, made out, I've taken the, the stuff out of the tent and hung a few things up to dry. So I've just put Indy's mat up and my mats around the back here. And I'm just waiting for the tarp to dry off and then I think I might take it down because there's no need to be sitting in the dark when I don't actually need the cover of the tarp. I figured out what Indy wanted before. And she wanted me to play with her. So we just spent a little bit of time Without the camera, just having a bit of a play together. Because I have to remember... ...that she has no idea what the camera's all about. She just wants my attention, so she needs it sometimes. Oh. <laughs> I've taken down the tarp. And I'm just boiling up some water for another coffee before we pack up. Wow, it's absolutely crazy. absolutely crazy that was definitely snow up on that mountain from last night because now that the cloud has cleared the snow that I saw the first thing this morning is almost completely gone so where you can see those little slithers of snow up the top the whole mountain was completely white this morning And it must have been the absolute thinnest little little um, bit of snow because it's all melted in two hours. And it is hot. As soon as the sun comes out, it's just so beautifully hot. Wow, I am actually really hot. <laughs> the sun makes all the difference. Oh man, this is probably the best way that it could happen, rain the night before, sitting under the tarp watching the fire with the rain on the tent and then waking up to a nice clear morning, everything drying off, it's fantastic. Hey guys, thank you for coming with us. We really appreciate the support that you guys give. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Thank you for liking the video and sharing the video. All that stuff really helps. It really makes a difference. And thank you to those people who have um, shown us a little bit of support through the YouTube Super Thanks. 
Um, just wanted to let you guys know that if you look in the description and also just down below the video, um, there should be a link there for buy me a coffee. So that's another option if you want to show your support to Indy and I, if you want to buy us a little treat, if you want to um, show your thanks and help us to be able to buy new things for our camps, then you can head over to buy me a coffee or use YouTube Super Thanks. We'll be doing some spring and summer camping soon, so um, things should change up a little bit, some new areas to go to, some new things to do. So I'm really looking forward to that and I hope that you guys are as well. I am going to enjoy my second coffee and then I'm going to get everything packed up and I'm back on the trail. Alright guys, see you on the next adventure. Bye.